everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching this. Welcome to my channel or welcome back if you're a subscriber. So I'm going to do a vase that will go with, um, you're going to all be jealous about this, but my husband buys me flowers every week. He buys me white roses. And I don't really have a vase that goes with white roses. I mean, I do. I have blue and green, but I thought I would make a specific vase for this. And this is, it occurred to me that this also could be like a beautiful like, centerpiece for um, Christmas or holidays or Hanukkah or New Year's or holiday vase or just something that's just gorgeous to put your flowers in. So the colors I'm going to use are Phthalo Green by Winsor Newton. The Galleria line. I'm using Artist Loft's Flow Acrylic White and then um, Sergeant Art Acrylic Metallic Silver. And um, once the paint has dried, I'm going to bling it in certain places, like around the rim, maybe one line around the middle and the, and the bottom. And then I'll put it on my cup turner and you don't need a cup turner to do this. You can, um, as I, I could leave it on this, and just put resin and rub it with my hands. That works just as well. It's just, what you know, whatever you have on hand, you can do exactly the same thing. So to begin with, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put some white on and I'm gonna rub the white all over the vase. And what this is going to do, it's gonna help the flow of all the paint going forward. So that's good. Because if you can you hear my little dog, baby, sneezing, bless you. She's sneezing in the background, poor little thing. All right. And some people say they can't do this because their acrylic paint doesn't stick. And I. Two pairs of gloves on, by the way. Um, I don't know why that is. So my white is very thin because I wanted to do that first. Now I'm gonna add some more. I'm almost out of it. Come on, it's gonna make some squirty noises. Sorry. Sorry. Pardon me. Go on a little bit thicker. Um, so that's going to make my white paint. So my silver Sergeant Arts and my Thalo Green, I don't have any water in these two. The, the white I had paint some, a um, um, little bit of water and some Floetrol. And because this is Artist Loft Flow Acrylic, it tends to be a lot thinner than other paints. And anyway, I'm gonna make sure that I've mixed in the new paint. It's a little bit thin. I'm gonna add some more, but let me show you. These have, this is much thicker. This is approximately one part paint to two parts flow troll and I don't have any water in this but that doesn't mean you can't do a vase with paint that has water mixed in it because I've done that before and it does work so um, and the silver metallic and see it's not too thin but it also doesn't leave much of a mound in there, but metallic paint kind of has a mind of its own. I'm just gonna add some more white paint into 
my white mixture. Oh gosh. So impolite. That should do. And then once it's, yeah, so I have this, um, my glitter glass, which I'm going to bling it with. And I mean, I may, like I said, do a rim around here, rim around here, or I might just follow areas once it's dried. And then resin. So I'm not going to begin with the white as it's kind of covered in white. I'm not going to also do like a dirty pour on this. I'm going to do specific pours around each one. And what I like about the silver, I can't turn, well, I guess I can turn it around because it's on a board. It almost has like its own shadows that it creates, even though it doesn't look that silver. Let's do some green. And some white. running slowly. I'm going to torch it because I can see some bubbles. You know, I should have put this on a Lazy Susan. Which I still can do. Come on, Susan. Stop being so lazy. Help me out. Um, right, let's get rid of these gloves. I'll put them in my trash bin. See, that's what's good to have on a board. And have you met Susan? She's a bit lazy. Um, all right, so I'm gonna let that just drip for now. Liking it though. Right, lift you a little bit higher. Sorry, I'm just adjusting my camera so you can see everything. Sorry about my finger. There. Now I can turn it round and see every perspective. So definitely this needs some green going on. I like doing the dirty pores on this, but also when you do it individually, you can kind of create a different kind of interest. Some more delicate lines, although because I'm touching the white paint, I'm going to have to scrape off my green. So I have some bits missing here. I need to encourage this to come down. And maybe I can just touch it with my finger. Let's pull some down here and break up the white. And I have tons of paint. And the other thing when doing these vases, you do need a lot of paint. Especially if it dips in at the neck like this. Now I need some more white. Not a lot, just down here. And I haven't forgotten the silver. I think I'm going to add the silver last because it's sort of being overwhelmed by the white and the green. I'll just wipe off your stick. Yeah, I 
like the way this green is just taking little streaks. I love my white roses. And I have, I've made so many vases, but they always seem to have blue and gold in them. And white roses are kind of, have a cool tone. So I thought it'd be nice to have some white, obviously, to go with the flower, and green to go with the leaves, and some silver because it adds to the cool tone. Okay. Looking good. I'm going to add some more silver now. And I, I want the silver to be subtle because I'm adding bling. It's going to have, it's going to highlight the silver. It's an accent color rather than a main color. The vase is going to be green and white. Oh, that would be interesting. Just let's see. Put some over that little spot here. Let that run down. Yeah, so definitely a Lazy Susan is good to have. Let's see that run down. Maybe a little bit more on this side. And this is going to change throughout the day. I'm going to help that. So when it kind of stops at the neck, you can use like a lollipop stick and create a path for it to keep running. See that drop? It's going to follow that down. And even if you if you did like a wiggly line, it's still going to drag down like a straight line. Do I need something there? Maybe let's just do like one fine silver line down there. Okay. So I could fiddle and fiddle and fiddle, but I'm not going to because I actually like it the way it is. Less is more. I am going to keep going around the sides or babysit it for a bit. Um, by the way, other point, these are not dishwasher safe. I made the most beautiful vase. And my lovely husband, who buys me flowers every week, put it in the dishwasher and after the resin and a little bit peeled off. I can fix it. It's not so bad, but these are better hand washed. So I think this is gorgeous. I'm going to let it sit and then I will come back and we will bling. It's dry and it's absolutely gorgeous. I've got it on my cup turner and you don't need a cup turner to do this. You can easily um, just stand it upside down. This is how I began doing vases, was standing upside down and just, you know, smoothing the resin over and that works just perfectly. Never had a problem doing that. Um, so you may ask, well, why do it this way? Well, the reason is I don't have to babysit it as much. I don't have to worry about the drips around the rim or anything. So the first thing I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to take it off this, which is on tight. I take that off and I'm going to mask the inside of the rim. So I'm going to mask the inside of the rim with 
electrical tape. I'm using electrical tape because it is flexible and easy to go around circles because it's stretchy. This will keep it all neat and tidy. And what I like to do is um, fold over the end like that and kind of just leave a tag. And I haven't got a search for the end of it. Okay. Now I'm going to put that back on my cup turner. Make sure that is snug. And you'll see like how pretty this is. It just came out even better than I expected. And what I thought I would do because really you see green and white. I'm going to use glass glitter to highlight certain areas. And with that, I'm going to apply it with Mod Podge. Mod, I always call it Mod Podge. Mod Podge. This is dishwasher safe, although this is not going to go into the dishwasher. Um, it just makes it a little more heat resistant. And once that's dry, then I will apply the resin. I definitely think I'm going to put some glass glitter around the rim. So I haven't got it plugged in at the moment. Oh, don't know if I want it down that far. Um, so I'm just going to apply the glue in areas. I've got some plastic underneath this that I can recapture the glitter. All right, Mod Podge out the way. Got my glass glitter. I am just going to apply this around the rim. The resin will seal this, by the way. So, that looks pretty good. And now, this is why I've used a firm plastic because I can capture all my glitter and put it back in its jar. So, I've been thinking about how to. Um, place my glitter. I've put it all back in the container. Um, and I think what I'm going to do is just do very little. So I'm going to get my applicator. And what I'm going to do is just highlight certain areas on it, like just like here's a streak and do that I have to mirror the shape okay and then I will put the glitter on there straight away Done.
shadows, shadows, because it's getting dark so early. All right, let me turn my cup turner on. Um, there. And I have resin. I'm just going to drizzle it first over this glitter. And I put masking tape on my cup turner too, because no doubt it will dribble. Okay. Um, that I'm going to stop it while I do the glittery bits. Because those are the pieces I really want to focus on. And then once that's done, I can just spin it and rub it with my hands. Now, as I said, it is not essential to have a cup turner. You don't need to, um, they're easy to make. I bought mine on Amazon. It's called a cup tissery. Um, yeah, I bought mine on Amazon just because I was gonna try and make one and I thought, no, I'm constantly making stuff in my studio. I really don't want to go through the hassle of making a cup turner. That's all covered. I am now just going to turn it on and leave it doing that for about four or five hours. And here it is, it's all finished. It's got my beautiful roses in it. Isn't that just adorbs? It's stunning. Let me bring you down for a little closer look. It's, I'm just so happy with it. So, happy, happy. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.